further ado, let's get started with the second half. The second half, uh, we always bring up a very special guest. Tonight, uh, we've called an audible because clearly this is the girl of the hour. Uh, she's leaving Shanghai. She's the best kindergarten teacher to ever grace China's shores. I want you guys to give a big round of applause for the beautiful, wonderful Amy Petzl. <laughs> Text you've ever received. <laughs> 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 yeah, the most awkward text you've ever received in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Can we get a picture? On that of it? Tuesday that we all know every time. I have, I have a story. <laughs> Real. You have another story? Yeah. 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 Alright. Give her a couple other words just to give her a backdoor. Uh, the backdoor. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Wait, she actually has a, you have an idea of a story you want to tell? Yes, I have a story of mine. Okay. Right. How do you go about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, should I still tell the story of the most awkward text? Yeah, sure, yeah, okay. yeah, probably. So, I was fairly new in Shanghai. I'd been here for about a month. And this girl, Miranda, who I'd met in like my first week here, we were like, like, like best buddies forever, yay! And <laughs> she started dating this guy. <laughs> Let's call him Eric, <laughs> who I really, really didn't like at all. Like, I thought he was obnoxious and just like really American. Um, <laughs> 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 um, anyway, she's like, it's really, he, I quite like him, and this guy, like, I think he might be quite important to me. So I'd like it if you, if you made an effort. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll try. And so we all go out for this big night out. I can't remember what the occasion was. Um, but we all got very happy, and we were at Zapata's, and Eric was off in another bar, and he was going to come and meet us later, and so it was just me and Miranda at Zapata's, and I feel this, this buzzing in my bag, and so I, I take out my phone, and it's Eric, and he sent me a message, and I think the exact words were, I think I love Miranda, but... I don't know if I can even say it. <laughs> 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 I've wanted to suck your tits and eat your asshole since the first what? time I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> and just as I'm looking at this, Eric appears with his big afro. I'm sorry, I meant his um long hair. Um, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What happened? And I was like, okay, it's fine. Um, let's just forget it. We're all happy. We're all having fun. <laughs> and, but later, me and Miranda fell out about it because she was like, you should have hated him for that. And I was like, but you wanted me to be his friend. And that is the most awkward test message I've ever got. <laughs> <laughs> Like, 
What do you think of Aaron? <laughs> like, oh. doesn't he just have such powerful uh, opinion? <laughs> 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 He's so patriotic. <laughs> I feel like, you know, if you don't have a, found, found, a firm foundation of where you're from, like, who can you really become, you know? And he, I, I really get that in him. I think he's a douche. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Tell me, how, where does that come from? I find his personality grating. Uh, he's arrogant, obnoxious, he's, he's, he's rude to me. He's just proud of his country. And... He just misunderstands your accent and your gender. <laughs> he has a mohawk. Well, that's dyed red, white, and blue. <laughs> I think maybe that's just harking back to the Native Americans, maybe. The, the <laughs> Ooh, that's even more offensive. <laughs> well, I don't, I, mean, I don't want to speak for him, but I think I love him. You can do better than that, Miranda. You, you, you're a... A pre-med student who got a full ride to Case Western. I know, I know. Is that a... yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real college, I know it is, yeah. <laughs> like, you could date anybody. I just don't... I don't he's kind of a... true, though. He's, he's like a... like a cro magnon like, date rapist. Why would you... <laughs> So Miranda told me that uh, I had to talk to you <laughs> and just try to make us feel better. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I did a lot of yoga this morning. I'm sore. Maybe don't. You know what sore. happens when I side hug people? <laughs> and I've heard Eric. Bean bags! <laughs> American bean bags! Okay, um, so I feel like you're. Bean bag is when I put my testicles on someone's face! <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful, Eric. It's so. Very clever of you. <laughs> Look, you need to respect boundaries, okay? Oh. I am Miranda's BFF, okay? Oh. I, oh, I'm sorry. I totally disrespected that. Yeah. I just didn't. Oh, man. It's okay. I, I made a huge mistake! <laughs> a huge mistake! Well, you know, as long as you didn't make that, that's <laughs> like Vietnam! <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. You just kind of crossed a boundary. No. Amy, I, I want to apologize to you. Oh, wow, that's very, wow, that's very nice of you, Eric. I, I said that because I side hugged you, we should fuck on a beanbag, but that's not what I meant. Okay. I, I'm really sorry. I, wow. It's okay. You know, I want to suck on your titties and eat your ass. <laughs> I was not specific enough, and I regret that. <laughs> Exact words were. Yeah, I'll just show you the, the text he sent moments after he said the thing about my tits and my asshole. Because I would have really known that would have been the. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me send that to you in a text message form. So you. Yeah. He, he, the crude picture is something he drew afterwards to illustrate that it wasn't enough. He told me. He's really good at. Flash animation. <laughs> and here's the crude picture he drew for me. Uh, he used colors on mine. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Maybe. I'm it's... never gonna find true love. If this isn't the guy for me, then who is? Anybody? <laughs> no, no, I feel He's like. He's literally the worst human I've ever met. <laughs> is it worth I feel like I've met, Randa, you I've met the pinnacle of, of masculinity. You could go out to the corner, randomly pick a homeless man, and he would be better. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I didn't really mean that. Literally. Hey! Hey! Miranda, it wasn't really. Here's my, here's my number. Send me a text. That was a big Send me a speech. text. That was not to be taken literally, okay, Miranda. Yeah, just scan my QR code. There you go. There you go. You do well. You do well. I hope to hear from you soon. You see, she doesn't. He doesn't want me. I'm gonna go back. I think to Eric. Just, I gotta I think go he just back wanted to change from me. I don't. You're seeing betrayal everywhere around you. It's, it's an illusion. I think I'm just gonna go back to Eric. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen. I've been with other guys at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we, don't, we don't connect like. Oh, oh 
knows you're, you're back. Oh. <laughs> I think it was a stick with some poop at the end. They want to marry all of your uh, loved ones, right? Yeah, I've been your daughters. I've been in those. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just want you guys to know. Um, this is my first cult. Okay, cool. great. Well, I'm cult. telling you, right? You, you tell them, Todd. Oh, it's. You don't want to be in other cults. Todd's been in two other cults. How many times has your wife been married to a cult leaders? Oh, I don't know, four. <laughs> four times. I mean, the cult leaders just. You know, there's a lot of turnover at the top. <laughs> my teacher just said I needed to do an internship for six months. <laughs> well, my daughter was married to my cult leader six times. Uh, they got divorced five times in between, but they, they, they worked it out. <laughs> yeah, great. Glad we could all get that out of, the, of our systems. I just want to let you guys know up front, none of that in this cult. I have zero designs on marrying your loved ones. I uh, just wanted to make that clear. Whoa. I'm uh, getting a text from God. <laughs> okay, good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? Good news? Uh, God usually says the bad news first. No, it's going I, I good news. Good news. Tell the difference. Good news. Good okay. news first. Good news is, still not going to marry your significant others. Oh! Oh, that's great news! I, I like God, this cult God a lot! God re just reaffirmed that to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my special holy phone. Bad news is... Do have to give slight little ass nibble. Just a, a nosh. An ass nosh? An ass nosh. <laughs> that's the new that's the new mandate. From the number one. To me or to my spouse. You know everybody. <laughs> okay, well where do we get in line? <laughs> well, just go ahead. <laughs> I'll be in the worship space. Intern? Who? Do you want to <laughs> reach the uh, enlightened plane or not? Um, uh, uh, the door's uh, got a devil on it, by the way. You're not going to be able to leave. Uh, maybe. I realized, okay, that came on really strong, right? Maybe we should, maybe we should, let's do baby steps. Okay? Look, Maybe. No, there will be no... I won't even touch you. Okay? Come come back. Come into my holy realm. <laughs> but I came on strong. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll ease into this, right? Are we going to get started in here or what? Yeah, I'm ready to get my ass noshed. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. we got, we got, we got, a, we got a scare. Or do ass noshing. I found a vinaigrette. <laughs> Todd, you were a new cult initiate at one time, okay? I know this is an intimidating experience, giving yourself over to a strange man dressed in white who uh, occasionally levitates. Look, I can't. I can't. maybe we'll start you off easy. Just maybe inject a little bit of my blood into your arm. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's no biggie, right? I got the syringe right here. Uh, it's got some it's blood. I've, I've been tested, you can see. Okay, I haven't signed anything. So let's just pretend like I wasn't here. Okay, this is 
blood from the chosen one. Okay, I, I have people lining up to get a little of this holy juice. Oh, some of this Jesus I, I love some of that Jesus juice. Yeah, well, Todd, as I told you, you have to pay $10,000 for it. Uh, wow, what a deal. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here's $1,000, $2,000. Uh, I don't have enough money. Can I go to the ATM? Is there an ATM around here? I have one uh, upstairs in my bedroom. <laughs> so we're, we're calling it the Love Palace. The Love Palace. I'll be right back, okay? See that? I just got 10 G's off Todd there, but you, all I'm asking for is your everlasting devotion. Well, it's not going to be everlasting, because I'm only going to be here for six months. Six months everlasting. You know, you'll be brainwashed by then, so it's fine. Uh, okay. I I don't have any choice. So I just want to make my teacher proud. I've got a good aioli mixed up in here as well. <laughs> All right, we'll do it after the, the after lunch. Okay. Thanks, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a funny looking mansion. <laughs> it's a lot of beanbag chairs with people eating other people's assholes out on them. <laughs> <laughs>